segment, Graphing Cool Things. Today, I'll be showing you how to graph the Deathly Hallows symbol on Desmos, which if you didn't know about Desmos, it's a free online graphing calculator. The Deathly Hallows symbol is pretty easy to graph because it's just an equilateral triangle with a circle in it and a line segment. Plus, if you think about it, a triangle is just three line segments. So we really just have to graph four lines and a circle. The tricky part is figuring out what the slope of these top two lines are and what the endpoints are. But with simple geometry, we can figure it out. So where to start? There are a lot of ways to do this. I played around with it a lot, and I'm just going to give you one of the ways I found that work. I just chose this one because I like how the numbers and equations look with the most whole numbers possible. So I decided to center our graph at the origin. Okay, starting with the circle. The equation for any circle goes along the lines of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared all equals r squared. But since our circle is going to be centered at the origin, h and k are both zero. And what about we make the radius 1 to make everything nice and easy? So there we go, we finished graphing the circle. The equation is x squared plus y squared equals 1. Now let's talk about this triangle. First of all, note that the Deathly Hallow symbol, you know, without the line through the middle, is just an equilateral triangle with an inscribed circle. That means that this circle is the biggest one that completely fits in the triangle. And because of that, the triangle's sides are tangent to the circle, meaning that each side only touches the circle once. Here, here, and here. In order to find the center of a circle that's inscribed in a triangle, you just have to draw the angle bisector to each of the triangle's angles. By the way, an angle bisector is the line that splits the angle in half. And wherever all three of these lines intersect, that is going to be the center of your inscribed circle. Also, since this is a nice equilateral triangle, each angle bisector is also perpendicular to the opposite side. That's nice, because then we can use those lines that we just drew to split the big triangle into six smaller right triangles. Specifically, 30, 60, 90 triangles. All 30, 60, 90 triangles have sides with the same ratio to each other. Usually you see that if the hypotenuse has a length of 1, then the short leg will have a length of 1 half, and the long leg will have a length of the square root of 3 divided by 2. Let's make this a little bit easier by multiplying all of those values by 2. Then guess what? We said that the radius of the circle is 1, and we also found the measurements of a 30, 60, 90 triangle when the short leg is 1. So now we can just fill in all of the measurements on this triangle. Now that we know the measurements here, this is going to be pretty simple. This side is going to be easy because it's just a horizontal line one unit below the x-axis. So the equation is y equals negative 1. But we have to find the slope to these two lines. This line goes up 3 and over the square root of 3. So the slope is 3 divided by root 3, which simplifies to the square root of 3. The other line is similar, it just goes down 3 and over root 3. So its slope is going to be negative root 3. But also, these lines don't go through the origin, they pass through this point up here, which gives them a y-intercept of 2, because we decided that this is the origin. So those equations are going to be y equals the square root of 3 times x plus 2, and y equals negative root 3 times x plus 2. And last, but not least, but actually the easiest, we have the vertical line that represents the elder wand. And that line is just along the y-axis, so its equation is x equals 0. Now, we just have to find the range of all of these equations so the lines aren't going off in all directions, and so that we just have the Deathly Hallows symbol. That won't be too hard because we already found the measurements of this triangle. The circle we don't have to worry about because it just graphs a circle. But the lines have endpoints, so let's find those. This is really easy on the last one because you can see that it just goes from y equals negative 1 to y equals 2. So let's put that in the correct format on Desmos. 
and it'll shorten our line down. Now we just have to find the x coordinate of these three points. This top one is on the y axis, so its x coordinate is zero. And these two, you can see from the triangle measurements we found earlier, that they are both root three away from the y axis. So this one has an x coordinate of negative root three, and this one has an x coordinate of positive root three. So this bottom line has a range of going from negative root three to positive root three, and this line has a range from negative root three to zero, and this line has a range from zero to positive root three. So there you have it, the Deathly Hallows symbol graph. And on Desmos you can change up the colors and get rid of the grid or the axes so you can just bask in the beauty of the Deathly Hallows symbol that you just graphed. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like educational videos like this, you can check out my playlist of all my educational videos right here. And you can also check out one my most recent educational video up here. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, which you can do right here. Thanks for watching. See you next Saturday.